Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and welcome back to another Squarespace Rapid Fire Critique where I take one of your websites and give it a critique or critiquerson. So right before I jump into that, I want to say if you are looking for the best, easiest, most affordable turnkey solution, in my opinion, for building your own website and portfolio, check out squarespace.com slash fro. Use the code fro at checkout to get 10% off your first month or your first year. It's what I personally use for jaredpoland.com because it's so freaking easy to use. So here we have visual approach photos. Look at that, it's like the approach of the plane. That's super cool, look at that. It's like the wash of the thingies of the, of the engines are going. That's pretty cool, so let's see what this site is all about. To enter, click here or contact me. So of course, I want to click here and see what we have. Uh, this website is built off of a Squarespace platform. I'm not really sure what template it, template it is, but so here we go. We've got welcome. Welcome to Visual Approach Photos. I'm a photographer in the Houston area. Please select from the menu portfolio to begin viewing photos. My goal is to create the best images that I can create. Well, no shit. That should probably not need to be said. I will photograph any subject that you need. I have experience in family photos, portraits, animals, landscapes, and more. Thanks for visiting. Have a great day. Um, yeah, there's no reason to tell people that your, go your goal is to capture the best pictures you can possibly capture because your goal should always be to capture the best pictures that you should be able to capture. There's no need to tell people that because that should just be a given. You don't set out to take crappy photos uh, unless you're shooting JPEG, of course. That's a joke for anybody out there who doesn't get it, but... You should probably shoot raw. But anyway, let's get back to this before I get lambasted for my comments. Um, so here we see two, four, six, eight portfolios, um, but I see we've got aircraft, which probably has something to do with the visual approach part, the approach part at least. So that's a lot of different portfolios. Now, before I jump too far, I, I, I like to read the my story part or the about just to see who the people are and whether they're looking to do jobs, whether they're just amateurs looking to share their images. So here we have it. Let's see. Welcome to my website. I hope you're enjoying the photos. Uh, so it all started with aircraft photography. I've always enjoyed aircraft. Every time one flies by, great, you do that. So we know that's what you like to shoot. Um, I realized that I had an exceptional eye for photography. Naturally, I began to branch off into other types. Furthermore, I reflect back at all my photos in the past and realized that I always had the eye for photography. Uh, it's not just the aircraft that I'm excited to photograph. I enjoy all types. I have not yet experienced a photographic challenge that I could not accomplish. So that's pretty cool in a couple of ways. He's saying he can shoot just about anything, and if you throw anything at him, he'll be able to capture it. So it's nice to say that. It's nice to take that approach that, yes, you're able to capture anything that you need. Sometimes it's good, though, to dial down to what you like to focus on because it's better, in my opinion, to be really freaking good, the best of the best at something, rather than just be okay at these 27 other different types of things. I'm not saying that's what you're saying. I'm just giving my opinion to the rest of you guys about that. My original profession prior to photography began in 2009. I joined the 911 force on the big red truck. Uh, ever since then, I have been a firefighter paramedic. I like this. I like the personal approach to telling people who you are and what you've done that, that can help resonate with people. Uh, the goal of this website is to showcase my professional work, but primarily I want to take photos for you. So there is asking for the sale. Um, showcase my professional work, but... Just ask for the sale. My goal, I want to get great photos for you. You guys want great photos? I'm your man. I would be happy to fill any need you have for photos. If interested, please click on contact me. I will reply quickly with scheduling and pricing information. Have a great day. Balake. Um, all right, Balake, thank you for that. So let's get to the photos. We've got portfolio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of portfolio images, especially when you said you loved aviation. So here we go into the family stuff. Nice photo right off the bat, but as I scroll down here, way too much of the same thing. There's way too many images here. I want to see your best hard-hitting family photos. No more than two from the same family or three at the most. And I'm seeing, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from this shoot. See, where you put nine photos from a shoot is in a portfolio. Sorry, no. Rewind that. Where you put portfolio, I did it again. Where you put photos from the shoot is in a blog. That's where you put together 
you know, you take your three best images or whatever you want to put in your portfolio, and then you share the rest in a blog post. Hey, I did this photograph of these two kids. It was great. They were a lot of fun. Here's the rest of them. But you want your best of the best 15, 20 ish images in or around there, whatever works, but you don't want to repeat, say, more than three images of the same people uh, in the portfolio because it will just become redundant and people think that's all you've ever done. So that's where you want your best work is in your portfolio. So there's way too many images here, especially like, look, this is the same kid and you got 37 of that kid. That's, that's oh God, I gotta, I gotta move on. So that's too many there. Um, real estate, I didn't know you did real estate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got 11 of those. Uh, it, it kind of looks like you've done like one house. Um, I would say pick the best three. I, I even think, I've seen this done before, put together a triptych in a JPEG. So three images from each house that you've done. So if you've done eight houses, put together eight triptychs that show three of the coolest shots from the houses. I think that could be a good way to show that you've done a lot of houses and share a lot of images at the same time. Because in this case, I just see the 10 images and no, oh God, I just saw this. It's like, this is not a selling point of a house to me. Uh, the stairs, is that a mirror? That, that's a mirror. Yeah, this to me isn't a selling point. Like, oh man, I wanna go buy this house because look at those stairs and white walls. Uh, so that doesn't work for me. I do like this angle more because look at that kitchen. Who wouldn't want that whitewashed kitchen? Look at all that storage that nobody can ever reach. But I do like this hood and I like that stove right there. So that's a, that's a cool looking modern kitchen. I do like that. So more on there, let's go, more. Oh, hey, visual approach photos, 2018 copyright. We're not in 2018 yet. Um, so portraits, landscapes, vehicles, animals. So we've got animals, we've got lots of animals, probably too many animals, too many of this horse right here. That photo's no good, he's just yawning. Um, not, yeah, no, that's not a portfolio winning shot right there. It's like, yeah, personally wouldn't use that. Um, okay, that's cool because he's looking at you. I like that. Yeah, you got to edit this down. Pick the best of the best of the best and get out of there. But I also think that eight portfolios is too many. It's like, what are you the best at? Air, oh, there's real estate and then architecture which I think real estate and architecture should probably go hand in hand. And again, too many photos. Like, I get it, you love aviation photos, best of the best of the best. Uh, eight is too much. I think eight portfolio pieces is way too much. You need to pare that down. You need to come up with your, your, your staples of what are you the best at? What are you looking for? And go from there. Having eight or 10, well, eight of the kitty, the kitty got into my wall. Somehow the kitty got past my wall. I'll show you a picture of my wall right now, but he found a way through to distract me. Good job, kitty. Uh, sorry for that side note, but pare it down. I think eight portfolios too many. It's like, wow, you shoot everything, but what do you do the best? I wanna see the best of the best of the best with honors. Make it three, make it four. Try not to go over that and then use a blog as the way to showcase the other stuff you do. Hey guys, I don't know if you know this, but I also do X, Y, and Z. It's, a, it's what I love to do, but my main focus is this, this, and this. What is your main focus? And go from there, all right? So we're gonna turn around here. Kitty looks like he's about to, to, to pounce on something probably me. So let's go to the contact me page. Okay, we've got a phone number. I'd probably call that at some point. Tell me what you think. To have your photos taken by me or tell me about your experience, click on the contact me link below. Well, it's actually, I'm already on the contact, unless that takes you somewhere different. Nope, takes you exactly to the same place. So having that on every page, not a big fan of that. We've got the social buttons. You know I like having social buttons, so we go to Instagram. Hey kitty, what are you doing? Please don't scratch my chair. So here's your Instagram. One, two, three. What, what are you looking at, buddy? Do you wanna come up? Kitty, I'm making a video for Squarespace Rapid Fire Critiques. Okay, so I guess you're joining me. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah. What, okay, okay, what I notice here is you only have seven posts. When is the first one from? That is from October 31st. So all right, you just got on in October, but you have 8,000 images in your portfolio and you're not putting them up here. Also, another mistake is you're following 1,312 
Um, and basically what it looks like is you're doing that follow for follow thing where if you follow me, I'll follow you. Let me tell you guys about follow for a follow. Follow for follow is one of the worst ideas you could ever do. You're literally saying, hey, follow me and I'll follow you. But that's, you want people to follow you because they like your work. That's why you want somebody to follow you. And so follow the people you want to follow and maybe they'll follow you back, but don't try the follow for a follow. I just think that that's a cheesy way of trying to grow your following and you end up adding way too many people uh, like you did right here. Um, so moving on back to the site, uh, you got your Facebook, you got your, your Pinterest. So I'm happy with most of that. I'm happy with most of this site. I think the photos are fine. I think the way the site works out is pretty good. Um, Kitty, I'm turning around. I gotta, I gotta talk to the camera right here. And so all in all, it's really pretty good. Um, your images are, are good. The about me is good. You're asking for the sale there. I would like to see a blog so you could put your work in blog form or get more stuff on Instagram more often. That would help you out because you'd be sharing more images with the world, especially that you're looking for the jobs. But I think a blog is a strong place where you can put the work that you may not keep in your portfolio. Eight different portfolios is way too much because I don't know what your focus is. Do you do portraits? Okay, maybe. Do you do architecture and landscape? Probably, but it's hard to tell, right? Because there's so many different things that you could be doing. Uh, and, that, and that's it. What do, you, what do you guys think? What do you think of this website? What could they do better? Give positive reinforcement when you're doing that. But all in all, I think it's pretty good and you're, you're in a good place. So keep it going. And one last time, Kitty, I'm about to do a plug. If you haven't built your own website or you're looking for a turnkey solution that is super easy, use what I use for jaredpoland.com. Go to squarespace.com slash fro to get a 14-day free trial of Squarespace. Use it for the 14 days if you like it. Awesome. Use my code fro at checkout to save 10% off your first order. That could be the first year or the first month. And if it's not for you, go ahead and delete. Don't worry about it. No harm, no foul. It didn't cost you anything. If you'd like to submit your website for critique, go to bit.ly slash fro critiques to submit your link. That's it. Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. See ya. Kitty, tell people they can click up here to check out the last rapid fire critique. They can go right here, buddy. Can you point to it? Right here. Click right here.